very few poor countries in this world. Most countries are rich. The Philippines are rich. Brazil. Ang bansang Pilipinas ay tinaguri ang perlas ng silanganan. Ngunit bakit kasama ito sa isa sa pinakamahihirap na bansa o third world country? Pero kung totoong mahirap ang bansang Pilipinas, bakit may mga dayuhang pumapasok dito para magnegosyo? Napaka-ironic naman, di ba? At idagdag nyo pa dito kung totoong mahirap ang bansa natin. Pero bakit may naglalakihang shopping malls? at may 5 o 6 stars hotel tayong makikita na may magagarang disenyo. Kaya halikat ating alamin kung ano nga ba ang tunay na dahilan ng ating kahirapan mula sa pananaw ng isang political scientist na si Michael Parenti. So one of the laws of capitalist motion and development is this inexorable expansion. And that means expansion into an expropriation of the third world. A process that's been going on for about 400 years, perpetrated by the Portuguese, the Spaniards, the Dutch, the Belgians, the French, the English, and most recently, most successfully, most impressively, by the Americans. That is the American, that is by the ruling classes of these countries, not by the ordinary people. The ordinary people simply paid the costs of empire. The ordinary people simply sent their sons off to die on the plains of India or in the jungles of um, the Congo or uh, in Latin America, wherever else. But that expropriation of the third world has been going on for 400 years, brings us to another revelation. Namely, that the third world is not poor. You don't go to poor countries to make money. There are very few poor countries in this world. Most countries are rich. The Philippines are rich. Brazil is rich. Mexico is rich. Chile is rich. Only the people are poor. But there's billions to be made there to be carved out and to be taken. There's been billions for 400 years. The capitalist European and North American powers have carved out and taken the timber, the flax, the hemp, the cocoa, the rum, the tin, the copper, the iron, the rubber, the bauxite, the slaves, and the cheap labor. They have taken out of these countries. These countries are not underdeveloped, they're overexploited. 